don't slip on a trip Don't slip on a trip besties welcome back to another video on my channel to another vlog on my channel today is sunday october the 22nd and i'm in the process of straightening my hair not really straightening just trying to get it you know together because i got wet in the shower but um yeah don't mind my hair for now i'm about to finish it in a second but i'm bringing y'all along with me for today i'm trying to get on it with my vlogging because so we are at 14,000 subscribers. We are not like 14,050 subscribers. So shout outs to y'all. I am so blessed and so happy to finally be at 14,000 because I was at 13,000 subscribers. I promise you it felt like two years and I could not get a thousand subscribers. But I think you guys are liking the consistency. I think you guys are loving the mom content the journeys i'll take out on every journey of my life college to moving out to becoming a teacher to now becoming pregnant to getting a mom like all of these steps have helped my channel so we're back and we're better today i'm about to make me some breakfast i've been craving this avocado toast it's like a little bit of smashed avocado with some i'm gonna put scrambled eggs on top put some turkey bacon on top and sauce it up on some toast it's gonna be so good so i'm about to make that um and we are gonna go to the pumpkin patch today take some cute pictures um because i can just envision going to the pumpkin patch next year and having our sweet little baby girl with us and just stuff like that so i want to stop and get another polaroid camera because i lost mine at the i left mine at the old apartment unfortunately so yeah, I want to get another Polaroid camera and then get some stuff to organize the closet. Um, and then head to the pumpkin patch to, you know, grab a pumpkin and, you know, get a little festive painted, maybe. All that stuff. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. I actually picked this up. Y'all saw my vlog that I posted. My last vlog that was about the birthday party and also being 24 weeks my 24 week pregnancy vlog y'all already saw this outfit i don't think y'all did but i bought this in tj maxx it's super cute i just put like this little cream long sleeve shirt under it so that um my arms are covered and i don't have to wear a jacket but it's so cute and my baby girl looks so cute in it look at it oh my gosh i love it so this is what we are wearing today it was like eight dollars so i'm about to go wash the dishes and we can cook this avocado toast Do not leave things in the fridge more than a week, okay? That is my goal because I would leave stuff in the fridge for some time and I'm like, I'm not doing that when we move. So now I'm making sure that I get rid of this. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna need this, some eggs, some butter. Do I have cheese? I love this chili crunch. I'm gonna put this on top of it once it's done, or maybe even with my eggs. I got some turkey bacon. I grew up eating pork bacon, but I'm trying to get away from the pork bacon, mainly because of course I know. We all know, we all know pork bacon is honestly not the best for your body. So I'm trying the turkey bacon, so I'm gonna try and get it extra crispy. And it don't have that much sodium, only 150 milligrams compared to the other bacon. It's 
probably like a thousand. So this is the one I got, Applegate. So I'm gonna try that. I'm about to finish my hair. Don't worry. And then I have some eggs and then I bought some avocado yesterday and I'm gonna use this bread. So we're gonna go ahead and wash the dishes because I can't cook without a clean kitchen. So I just finally got done with it. This is the finished product. It looks so good. I'm literally about to eat it. I put that, um, oh my gosh, y'all, my hair. I'm about to finish it in one second. I put that chili crunch oil on it. Let's get the first taste before my camera does. I'm gonna try and make it a sandwich. So this is how I'm looking for my hair. Easy. You're just gonna have to work for this week because so I get my hair done very soon. Um, November 19th, I'm getting some weave. Y'all, I'm getting a quick weave by this girl that does hair really good for my maternity shoot because I have that book for November. Maternity shoot is book. Baby shower's coming up. My family baby shower's coming up. So. I'm really looking forward to getting my hair done and getting some bundles in because it's, I don't have the time or patience to be straightening my own hair. So we're about to head to the pumpkin patch and I'll see y'all once we're in the car. Me and baby girl are nice and full from that. That breakfast was a 10 out of 10. It's more like brunch because it's like one o'clock now, but I'm about to post this video that y'all already seen and get in the car. All right guys, I am currently in Walmart. Decided to stop here before we go to the pumpkin patch or whatever because I mainly want to grab a razor because I haven't shaved in some time and being pregnant and trying to shave, y'all, I don't know if y'all have experienced it but it is not easy so I'm gonna grab a um sorry I have the Billy razor and all I have to do is just change out the blade so I'm gonna grab a replaceable if they have it Billy razor is the best oh there it goes right there here it is right here and you get four of them so I'm gonna grab this one 
That's what I need. Now some organization for the closet. There's honestly no reason why I'm shopping at Target to get my, I mean, it is a reason why I go to Target to get like the vibe, the aesthetic, to have peace, you know? Walmart is a lot more chaotic, but Walmart got them prices because all of that was only $50. And Target would have been like $80, $100 just for the stuff that we got. So I'm gonna start trying to be more cautious about my spending and try to go to Walmart for, um, things like that as opposed to Target for everything and spending a lot of money. So, yeah. It's good. It's actually hot. Just made it to the pumpkin patch. It's mainly for kids, y'all. We should have went to the Buford one. Today's Tuesday, days later from the pumpkin patch. Um, crazy that this time next year, baby girl will be like walking around, I think walking around and with us to celebrate these best of times like Thanksgiving, Christmas, my birthday, her birthday, Halloween, all of this stuff. So that's so exciting. Um, I'm about to go get me some dinner, y'all. I'm having that um fatigueness lately i'm currently about to be 25 weeks in like one day 24 weeks now but i'm getting like lazy when it comes to cooking i'm not gonna say lazy i haven't been feeling like cooking because when i get home from work i'm super tired and i have to have lunch though and i have to have dinner and i have to be eating a lot and it's just very hard because i know i need to eat a lot of food for the baby i mean not a lot of food but i need to eat good meals like i need to have meals and snacks so i take my eating very seriously but when i get home from work i'm so tired that i don't be cooking and not cooking this just came off the tripod not cooking results to not having a lunch which is not good So I'm saying all that to say, I'm going to pick up some pasta from this restaurant because I love pasta. I can have some now, have some later, but like some yogurt and granola and stuff like that. So that's going to be my lunch for tomorrow. I just have been a little fatigued and been trying to cook. I've been buying the stuff to cook and it's just has not been happening. Let me put you guys back on the thing. And it just has not been happening. Like, I done bought the groceries. I done did it two days in a row. I even cooked on Monday, but I hated the meal. So, it's just been hard. I'm going to get back into it. I just feel like I got to get back into the groove of taking all the dishes out and having a clean sink because it's just a mix of all that. I don't like cleaning. I don't like cooking if I still have dishes in the sink. And the reason I have dishes in the sink because I have to unload the dishwasher. It's just like a whole three-step process that can be very tiring after work. So that explains it all. This pasta is definitely going to be good though. I'm going to eat this pasta and relax for the night. Um, work has been going good. I literally got observed. I'm about to get back on the teacher content. I know I've been posting a lot of pregnancy, pregnancy, pregnancy content. Because, of course, I'm so excited for this process. I'm so excited for my baby girl and this journey and our sweet little baby coming. And I haven't been doing any teaching vlogs. But, y'all, I got observed today by elementary school. They wanted to come see me and a few other teachers. And then yesterday, I got observed by the principal. And it was just like, I should take it as an honor that they want to do come and see me teach and clearly I do good because <laughs> that's why you want to come see me teach but I'm happy I don't have to be observed at all tomorrow and I can just do my I always do my normal thing I mean 
even when they come in there I'm doing my normal thing this is what I always do like I just got it like that I'm not even gonna lie <laughs> so tomorrow we have pajama day because it's a um, drug free week so I'm gonna wear pajamas I might wear my little fuzzy Ugg slides I'm about to get I'm about to get real comfortable so I'm excited all right I just got the pasta I'm gonna start saving my receipts so that I can I need to stay up with my taxes because you know YouTube and anytime you're somewhat self-employed you need to or have a business you need to keep your receipts and I am so not good at keeping them but I try to Ooh, it's nice and hot. It's nice and hot. This looks a little messy. I don't want them to watch me because I feel like they're still looking at me. I just want to taste it and see what the pasta looks like. Oh, 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 that looks so good. Let me just taste it. I said blackened shrimp, but it don't look like they really blackened it a lot. Let's taste it, guys. I got sausage in it, too. Let's taste it. Y'all ready? I don't look that creamy, though. Okay, it gives what it needs to give. I know that much. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love y'all so, 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 so much. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on my next video. Bye besties.